Here we have a unique primary index example. The data is spread perfectly evenly. And notice the uniqueness value of each row ID. It's set to a 1. What I want you to understand is that each AMP is going to sort their rows in their table by the row ID, thus almost making data lookup like a phone book. We'll understand that in a few minutes. Take a good look at this, and you're going to say to yourself, you know, it's almost as if each AMP does sort those rows by the row ID, and I go every time, see the data, and you can master Teradata. When you sort by the row ID, like data is grouped together in a single block almost every single time, and this is a huge advantage when you're looking at large amounts of data. That's how it works. You're going to see this almost in slow motion. Here's the query. Select everything from the employee table where the last name's equal to Smith. The parsing engine's going to come up with a great plan. And it says, oh goodness, last name's the primary index of this table. Hash Smith. What did the row hash say? It said it's a seven. Count over seven buckets in the hash map. That says to go to this particular AMP, okay, cross the binet, we're going to tell that particular AMP, you go find row hash 7 and then check that it's a Smith and bring them all back. That's how the retrieval is going to go every time on a primary index lookup. How would you like to read through a billion rows? That's what Teradata AMPs sometimes have to do individually. So they Got two ways to read. A full table scan, they read serially. First row, second row, third row. But if you're using any indexing at all, it never does a sequential search. It says, look it up like you would a phone book. We're going after this particular row hash. Go to the middle of the block. Is that it? That's too low. Go higher. That's too high. And that's called a binary search. They can do this and find that note in three lookups. It's always so much quicker to do what's called a binary search. The only two ways you're searching, serially, not great. Binary search, brilliant. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need a query tool that makes joins easy? The Nexus has a join builder that turns the most complex joins into child's play. The Nexus Query Chameleon making connections easy again. Visit coughingdw.com for more information.